Hey, True Believers England team here with a review of the Wonder Twins, number one. And I did a little story on this in one of the Comic Geek News, and I was very happy to find out that Brian Michael Bendis did not write this book. As a matter of fact, it was written by the guy who did the Flintstones. I liked that uh, series. It was a lot of fun. Good times. The first cover doesn't thrill me. It's okay. This cover, however, is very indicative of what you're going to see inside because you could see right through Jaina on this cover. And uh, yeah, that's going to come up. Trust me on this. Okay, you know what? I'll just start talking about it anyway right now. Um, there are scenes in this book that, and I'm talking about the art now, you could see through the background characters. They seem almost ghostly. Like in a movie where you're focused on the front characters and the back ones are just a little bit blurry. In this case, they, they're they colored in a way that they don't look like they're in the same frame as the characters in the foreground. And that's very distracting because it's not all the time, it, it but it is sequential. Like it, the pages are in the middle. And this is, it's just something that happens. It's like they said, okay, you know what? We're going to color this character the same as background. It's not going to make sense. Blah. There you go. Oh, and a lot was made of this. Uh, Jan, Jan, well, no, Zan was talking about the sex life or the sex drives of people on his home planet and how they get excited during thunderstorms. And it's called thunder lust. Um, in context, it actually makes a little more sense him describing it. Uh, cause it's a joke. It's meant as a joke that he's going a little bit too far and sharing. So it makes a little more sense. Um, what doesn't make sense is that they do it at all. It seems like this is an incontinuity quirk that was put there as a joke. Well, now you got to live with it. And it's even a story point because, uh, Jan gets his first thunderlust at high school and he's looking for a uh, a nickname and a little bit it was H2O because he turned to ice in front of the hockey players but after that happens he gets his thunderlust he becomes known as thunderlust oh spoilers by the way um so yeah it was played up like a joke it doesn't quite make sense why but okay there you go it doesn't hurt the book uh, the only thing that does hurt the book is the art is a little bit off. I think the story is a lot of fun, tell you the truth. It is obviously meant for humor, um, and I would love for them to keep this out of regular continuity. I don't think it should be, definitely because of the way they wrote it. Batman tells an embarrassing uh, story as, uh, as of himself as a school kid and how he liked a girl. Uh, there's a lot of cute things in here. Um, there's also, a, there was a couple of times there was a joke or two that actually made me laugh and I'm not going to spoil them here just in case you can have the same experience. Actually, no, that's right here. It's this page right here. I love these two pages. They were just funny. I, I like the humor in the book to tell you the truth. Sometimes it does fall a little short, but most of the time the humor is hitting on all, all, uh, cylinders. Look, I'm neither drunk enough nor stupid enough to tell you that this book is the greatest thing ever. It's the best book since the Bible or whatever you consider the best book to be. I read the Bible a couple of times. It's actually got a lot of plot holes in it. I don't think it's the best book, to tell you the truth. Anywho, um, it, it is a fun book, though. And I'm quite surprised that considering what I think the audience should be, it's a win, to tell you the truth. Uh, it's not a win by a mile. But it is entertaining. Now, don't expect a lot of wonder twinning. That's not what this book is about. As a matter of fact, I think they use their powers only once, and that's for a race, and you don't see a lot of it. Jan is treated kind of like an idiot here, uh, but he was in the cartoon as well, so that doesn't bother me. Obviously, Jaina, Zan, not Jaina. Yeah, Jaina was uh, treated a heck of a lot more like she had everything on the ball while Jan or Zan was, you know, the goofy guy who jumped up and down with both legs before he turned into a bucket of water. Yeah, not a very prestigious character. And that's how they treat the entire book. They treat it with that kind of 1970s kids book sense of humor thing going on. So expect that this is kind of a superhero slice of life story, but it pokes fun at the superhero genre. 
at the 1970s cartoons. You even see some of the Super Friends walking around in the background that you might have seen in the cartoon. Yeah, so don't expect anything too serious. Just kick back and have a good time. I honestly do not know if you can trust my channel anymore. I've been saying some crazy, crazy things like, wow, you should read Batgirl comics and Batman by Tom King is hit and miss and I don't know if you can bank on it as much. Or how about, holy Toledo, Superman is horrible, but do you know what you should be reading? Supergirl. Yeah, you remember when that was completely the opposite case like last year? But then again, I used to make reports about the sales of comic books that had DC winning last year. Not so much this year, but I will tell you what, Supergirl is a hell of a lot of fun. So is Batgirl, as a matter of fact. So this is continuing the story. She's out to try to find the uh, answers to why Krypton was destroyed. In this case, she's actually been captured and um, by, by an Earth guy, an Earth uh, little uh, general dude. And there, it, it starts off there in the middle of a fight. And uh, she's fighting somebody from Tamar, and she's fighting somebody from Tamar, and she's uh, waiting for them to throw their solar power at her so she can get a little blast and have her powers again, because at this point she doesn't have the powers. Of course, we've got the Omega Men here, which is awesome. This is almost a pure action book, to tell you the truth. This is just fight, 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 fight. They do take a few pages to give us some character moments to explain the story. This is what's going on. This is the bad guy's plan. And, oh, the good guys don't understand that they're playing right into our plan. Ha ha, he he, ho ho, ha ha. You know, that kind of thing. And it's just a lot of fun. This is what we're missing from Brian Michael Bendis' destruction of the Superman saga over in the pages of Superman in Action Comics. Actually, this week's Action Comics, last week's Action Comics wasn't that bad. But, um, yeah, man, dude, it's just so much fun. I'm enjoying this story so much. It's great to see what looks like Omega Man and Legion coming together to just, oh, please, can we have that book? But, you know, I, I, I say that, of course. I always got to keep in mind what I always say to people who say, oh, I wish they would bring that character back. Nope, now you don't. Right now, you really wish they don't bring back those classic characters that you loved and I got to remind myself, so I stopped saying that because be careful what you wish for. They may assign it to Dan Slott or Brian Michael Bendis. You never know. <laughs> These days, be careful what you wish for. You, you might just get it, and it might be written by somebody who's writing comic books today. Wow. Uh, still, surprisingly enough, they can do a good job. And in my opinion, Supergirl is a good job it's a lot of fun and what else do you want from a comic book well i'm kind of you know i've always said it's easier to rail off against a comic book than it is to do a good review right now i feel like i'm like i'm spinning wheels because i don't want to spoil too much so check it out you're going to do yourself a favor if you're dropping superman consider picking up supergirl as a substitute for a while i think i think you'll find it uh to be a bit of a step up you know, give it an issue or so. You know, I'm not saying, you know, hey, buy it for a year or anything, but give it an issue or two. You know, wait for the next storyline if you have to. You know how they do. They do it in like five or six in issue increments. Pick up the next storyline. Maybe it'll be your cup of tea. I'll tell you what, it is a hell of a lot better than Brian Michael Bendis' Superman. But then again, so is stubbing your toe in the dead of night. So there you go, gang. Couple of comic book reviews. Wonder Twins, Supergirl. Have you read them? Are you planning to? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, if you like these comic book reviews, by all means, check out the videos that are about to pop up on either side of the screen here. And uh, if you don't mind, click like, share, get word out about the channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and notifications if you haven't done it already. And go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi and help the channel out. Link's in the description below. You could drop a dollar in the till and helps keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.